our house prices falling? Is real estate completely stalling? Well, I'm happy to share with you some of the highlights from Dr. Lawrence Yoon's presentation he gave, who is the chief economist of the National Association of Realtors the other day. Stay tuned. So are prices falling? Is real estate coming to a halt? What is happening during this coronavirus? There's so much uncertainty. And uh, thankfully, Dr. Lawrence Yoon, the chief economist of the National Association of Realtors, shared a presentation with us the other day that I am happy to try and share with you. So let's find out some of the great information he shared and hopefully this can help shed some light on what is happening right now in the economy. Uh, so let's dive in. So this first slide, uh, I've been asked so many times lately is just and what I'm seeing out there is just so much fear and concern that we are heading into a recession like we had 10 years ago in 2008 and 2009. And that is just kind of what I'm hearing over and over and over again. And so let's uh, so if you look at this slide, this is a really interesting one because it really shows how prices have rebounded since that great recession. And it's really great to see. Uh, however, I know that doesn't necessarily ease your concerns about where we're heading into. Uh, but it's just, it's a great visual just to see how much we have improved and how far we have come from the Great Recession. However, if you look at what is happening today and you look at what was happening 10 years ago back in that recession, we are in a completely different uh, standpoint. And Dr. Lawrence Yoon basically just describes how right now these home prices that we've been seeing increasing are not artificial. They are based on strong fundamentals, not like what was happening back in 2008 and 2009. Back in 2008 and 2009, there was a ton of subprime lending going on, home equity lines of credit, things like that. And there was very little to no documentation needed to obtain that mortgage or funding. It was very, you know, loosey-goosey, willy-nilly. If you have a pulse, here's a bunch of money. And so that definitely helped inflate those price increases that we were seeing back then. We do not have a ton of excessive subprime lending happening today. We just do not. And so that's giving us a much stronger footing and it's neat. It's helping to prove the point that we are not seeing artificial home price increases. These are based on solid fundamentals. Another thing that was happening back in 2008 and 2009 was that home builders were building more than 2 million homes a year. And that is way over normal conditions. Today, builders are underproducing. And so you had subprime lending, lending to people that probably shouldn't have been getting loans and a ton of overproduction. Neither of those things is happening today. And so that's just helping put us on a stronger fundamental as far as why those prices are increasing and that it's a solid footing and not, you know, kind of quicksand. Uh, other things that are happening today, we have great interest rates. Interest rates have been so low. We've been below 4% for so long and right now they're even below 3.5 at times. We have had a wave of refinances due to these amazing low interest rates job creation. Job creation has been very strong. And Dr. Lawrence Yoon did mention in his presentation how Madison has been the star of Wisconsin. Um, so that's nice to hear. Uh, I love it when my city is called the star of Wisconsin. That's pretty awesome and makes me feel proud. Uh, but basically, if you look at the year 2000 to today, 80,000 jobs were created in Madison in the last 20 years, which is just phenomenal. And that leads us to being the star. So that's really cool. Uh, and today, borrowers need to qualify. You can't just walk into a bank and get a loan. You are still put through the ringer in order to obtain that mortgage. It is not loosey-goosey, willy-nilly, do you have a pulse, are you breathing, here's a bunch of money. You still have to document everything and they still have to prove that they can qualify for that mortgage. And so all of those things are just making the home price increases that we are seeing today based on strong fundamentals, which I guess just brings me some peace knowing that where we were before this coronavirus was solid instead of not solid. <laughs> okay, let's jump to inventory. The number of home sales hasn't been increasing. This graph is just crazy to me. Look at the year 2000 to today. We basically have the same number of homes 
that are selling now as there were back in the year 2000. I just think that's crazy to me. I just, I don't know why that blows my mind, but it does. And the biggest reason is lack of inventory. That is basically the summary of everything. And lack of inventory means that that demand is there. That buyer demand has been there, it's there, and that is why we're seeing these home prices increase. It's, if you listen to my market updates, I feel like a broken record because I pretty much say that month after month. And so uh, anyway, it's just very interesting because as we go on, you'll, you'll kind of be like, why haven't we seen a greater number of home selling? Well, it's lack of inventory because the environment that we're in has been right for an increase in the number of home sales. The next slide is great because it just shows, again, Madison as being just this great city to live in. Look at this. So Madison is the top line there and home prices have been increasing in Madison, especially even compared to Milwaukee. That's great. Uh, it just kind of proves that we are awesome and Madison has just been the star again of Wisconsin. Uh, Madison home prices have more than doubled, which is just awesome to see. Uh, just that strong, appreciation happening year over year. Uh, the rural areas like Green Bay and Appleton typically don't see that kind of appreciation uh, like a capital city would. So, okay, and this next slide is by far my all time favorite slide. I wish I could put it everywhere. I just love it so much. I should blow it up and hang it everywhere. Here it is. This just shows wealth, comparing wealth that renters have, comparing that to the wealth homeowners have. And I just feel like, oh, <laughs> it's just the perfect slide um, because homeowners have substantially more wealth. And I love what Dr. Lawrence Yoon said about this as well. He believes that I, he says, I believe this wealth will hold on even through the economic quarantine due to the coronavirus because the housing shortage continues. The National Association of Realtors uh, surveyed a whole bunch of realtor members. So over the whole nation surveying all these realtors and just, you know, to find out what we're all seeing out there. And what they're finding is that sellers are choosing to unlist or delist, basically take their homes off the market. So their home is on the market and they're choosing to take their home off the market to wait out this coronavirus quarantine. And the reason they're doing that is because they don't want buyers in their house. They don't want them touching things. They, they don't want to help with the spread. And so they're actually taking their homes off the market to wait this out. When we already have a lack of inventory, if you take what's on the market and you decrease that, that's gonna make inventory even tighter. Now, of course, we will also see a decline in buyers. However, uh, he states that median price should hold on very well through this quarantine period, provided it is a relatively short period of time, like say three to four months. He says he thinks that should be fine. Uh, but if it's longer than six months and leads to consistent job losses, then of course, people without jobs would then eventually possibly enter into being delinquent on their mortgage and then leading into foreclosure. And so it's interesting, he thinks that, that median price should hold on given if it's a relatively short period of time, if it's longer than six months, uh, you know, it might look a little bit more uncertain. I would like to speak to that though as well because I, we just found out that the government passed a very large stimulus uh, bill to help ease the pain of everything that people are suffering and experiencing right now with job losses and what this coronavirus and this quarantine has been bringing upon people. And so uh, I know we're all hoping that those measures will, you know, negate what's happening negatively uh, from this quarantine. Uh, let's jump into uh, this next little bit of information and compare 2000 into 2019. If you look at this graph, it's so interesting because it's more affordable to buy a house in 2019 than it was in the year 2000. How crazy is that and how can that be? If you break it down, just look at those interest rates. Uh, there's more jobs now, more people now, affordability is better, then we should have more home sales. This all comes down to lack of inventory. And so uh, Dr. Lawrence Yoon predicted that four out of the five years, if you're planning your next five years, four out of the five will be an improvement. Uh, he always says that he gives one year as a hiccup and he just wasn't anticipating that the year 2020 might be the hiccup. Uh, you know, 
nobody knows for sure if we're going to enter into a recession or not. Uh, he did just speak to the fact that he's hoping that any recession, if we did enter into it, would be a V-shaped recession and not a U-shaped recession, meaning a V-shaped recession that whatever happens and whatever kind of negative things we experience will bounce back quickly and we'll recover quickly. A U-shaped recovery would mean that we kind of stay down for a while before we start to bounce back up. So Dr. Lawrence Yoon's previous forecast obviously looked different now that the coronavirus has hit and stalled a lot of things. Uh, and so basically moving forward, his forecast now, you know, one has to be humble and just state that it is highly uncertain. Maybe we get a recession, maybe we don't. Housing was doing exceptionally well and let's hope a vaccine or a stimulus, a stimulus measure to counteract all of the negative things that we're experiencing will work. Uh, so basically at the end of all of this, taking into the coronavirus, Dr. Lawrence Yoon predicted that home prices will hold on. The stock market wealth can go anywhere, it can go up and down, but housing wealth will continue to be stable. The, fund the fundamentals that we, we are set on don't have all that subprime lending and we don't have an overproduction issue. And so with that, at least we're ending on a positive note and that the chief economist of, the, of NAR, the National Association of Realtors, uh, really feels confident that home prices uh, will hold on across the nation as a whole and median price. So that was at least a positive ending to note on. So I know that times are uncertain right now and I hope that, that sharing some of Dr. Lawrence Yoon's presentation, the chief economist of the National Association of Realtors, at least helped shed some light on where he thinks we're going. And hopefully that brought some light and positivity and ease uh, to any fears you have been experiencing with your home. So uh, thank you so much for watching. To subscribe, please click uh, to subscribe to get great updates on the market. Um, I have links to home buyer guides and home seller guides as well on my YouTube page, feel free to check those out and I'll check you next time. Thanks for watching.